Hello you all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laquita. For those of you who are seeing me for the first time, I have a new monitor that I'm about to set up right now. It's the LG Ultra Wide Monitor. It is 34 inches. You guys sometimes ask me about equipment, you know, that I do medical coding on. I currently use my own equipment for medical coding. So I will be using this one because it's an ultra wide monitor. So basically it's like, I would not have to have two side by sides monitors. I can just use this one and it should just serve me good so as you can see all the specs everything that you want to know about the monitor is here you can see it i'm just using it for medical coding and to edit my videos that's pretty much it and surfing the wheel that's all it says to open here on this side so we're going to get this open we're going to lay it flat down HDMI cord. It also has a display port on here as well. Y'all know display ports, that's old school. We're going to be using the HDMI. Sorry about the disc, y'all. It's ugly. I'm going to give the disc to God and get a new one. I'm so excited for this monitor, y'all. got two in one. Honestly, it looks smaller on camera, but it looks bigger in person for sure. It looks good. I think the quality is good enough. All I'm doing is medical coding, surfing the web, doing some editing. That's about it, y'all. And this is how it looks when you watch a video on full screen on YouTube. So you have the black, you have the black edges there. It doesn't swivel side to side, but it tilts up and down and that's fine with me. So right now the power LED light is off and I'm going to set that to on. So I'm going to click this. So now you see now that little light is just at the bottom now. I ended up changing my settings because it comes set in custom. So we're going to go to the settings right here and then picture located in a little pink reddish circle. Go over to picture mode and I'm going to change from custom. I don't like the way it looks. This is vivid HDR effect. Reader, Cinema, FPS, RTS. I think that I'm liking Vivid, I mean HDR effect. Oh yeah, the HDR effect looks really good. Oh yeah, it's the best. So I'm gonna select that one. There we go. And that's my new setting. And then of course, you know, you can go in here and do your other settings, but so far I like the preset of HDR effect, it looks good. So let me show you all how I'm going to work off of this monitor. I can be faster whenever I am working my charts. To know if a condition has an HCC, I reference this. I only need V24, V28, and V08. All of these I can go ahead and hide. I'm a risk adjustment coder, as y'all know. Anything that I'm looking for in the chart, and I'm trying to see if we can pick up an HCC, and I don't, you know, know the HCC value by heart, you know, then I will come here and look and look at that condition. And then we're going to minimize the length here. So I just need about that much. We're going to pretend that the AAPC website is the actual website that I work out of whenever I'm doing my work. If I need to search a condition in Mayo Clinic right here, I can search right there. I always use drugs.com frequently. So having my stuff set up like this is going to help me work efficiently. So instead of just having to just switch between screens, so then I can, boom, jump right over here and type in any condition that I need to look up right here. Come right over here, drugs.com. Yeah. So I can do all of that. Now, let me tell y'all what I think about this monitor. I thought that I did not need the curved screen. I need the curved screen. Looking at the edges, it's too flat for me. 
there are plenty of other monitors on the market. I'm not sitting here telling you as a medical coding professional that you need to go out and buy this. You don't. But I will tell you, because I get this question also, do I need to have two monitors to do medical coding? It's ideal. It's ideal. As y'all can see, I was doing medical coding on one monitor. Y'all saw me doing that. But it, work, would been, work, work for me would have been faster if I had dual monitors. Now, the monitor that I did have that I replaced, it was on the larger side, but it still wasn't like I had dual monitors. You're going to need dual monitors. And if you don't do dual monitors, try to get maybe like one like what I got, where it's just the long one. And curved is ideal. You don't have to do curved, but I need curved. I'm taking this back and I'm getting the curved version. This is the curved screen version. And I highly recommend this one over the flat screen version. The refresh rate on this monitor is 160. On the flat screen version, it's 100. This is how the monitor looks with a YouTube video in full screen. I did surf the web and all of that. And the field of view on the edges is so much better. The curved screen version is the way to go. 